Okay, guys, today we work on a transition from the back to an arm triangle choke. It's one of my favorite techniques to work on anytime I have somebody's back. Of course, there's the obvious. Trap their arm, get the rear naked choke. That's your, always your plan A when you have the back. But some people get really good at defending, and sometimes you just may want to bait them with something that's a little more unexpected. So when I have the back with my standard seat belt grip, so I have a right under hook and I gable grip here over at this side. What I'm gonna do to transition, I'm kind of gonna give him the escape toward my left, his left as well. From here, I'm still gonna control with my legs, but I'm going to start switching position as my right hand shoot right over his strap, creating an arm triangle position. My legs, I'm gonna use them to help him move him out so I can slide under him. From here, I can turn, and if I keep, I'm leaving space in order to talk to the camera, but what I would do is glue my ear to his face and close this space. As long as I keep just my head closed, he still can get his arm back. So my second arm, I'm gonna use it to push his head toward my bicep as my hand spider crawl in this direction. This closes all the space that there was, even if there was just a tiny bit. From here, you lock it up either with a gable grip or a rear naked grip, whatever you like. I turn the corner a little, put pressure and get the squeeze on. Makes the arm triangle that was kind of close, super close all of a sudden. So just to show you one more time, Seat belt, got to the side, switch, got, got the squeeze, and hopefully he doesn't die. But.